Times for a stock type bar. <laughs> it's race day. This is going to be my second last race for the season. I've just been sitting here literally watching <laughs> racing and trying to pick up some tips and tricks and so on. It's going to be a little bit colder than it normally is. So, um, yeah, I just I just want to feel like I'm going out there and I know what I'm doing. A sweet spot where you can get the car on the power even earlier and accelerating even harder down the straight. That's the benefit of taking liberties with the track. Better do some of this tonight. Take in that wider line. This is actually a tough race. Look at that. If I didn't take that outside line, I lost all that traction exiting the corner. <laughs> race day, I'm excited. And yeah, I think we're gonna have uh, a podium finish today, if not for his place. Cause I'm feeling like that. Okay. So we're pulling into Goodwood just now. It's honestly pretty nice out. My car's reading 18 degrees Celsius. At 18 degrees Celsius, although it might still be okay to, to wear a t-shirt outside, definitely not the best for the car's tires. Now, in contrast, at 18 degrees Celsius, we should be pretty good for the engine. These little engines love the cold air too. The only thing is they do uh, take a little while to warm up. Yeah, it should be an interesting day. Right now you're watching a practice session. I just went out and finished my first session. I wasn't too happy with it and I didn't get much of it on film. What I mean to say is I got none of it on film, but try to follow uh, whatever line you want to make here. Honestly, there's some people that are really fast. There's some people that just can't figure it out. Everything is timed. We use a, a micron timer. So it's accurate GPS timing. As I said before, it's 18 degrees outside, so I thought I would have, have a lot more grip. Normally coming into this corner right here, which I would call corner one, I'd be able to uh, floor it, honestly. Uh, if I get the right line, I can come through here flat, uh, but I'm realizing more and more today that I cannot do that. So I'm trying to find another line here. There's a few things that you need in order to cart. So, of course, the helmet. Uh, you, you can buy one, or we have some that are provided for you. You're also going to need a neck protector. This isn't provided, but you can uh, purchase this. These are usually about 40 bucks. Gloves. You'll definitely need some gloves. It doesn't have to be a racing glove, but something to cover your, cover your hands. They say you got to be full head to toe. Somebody like Hugo has a full racing seat, but I don't yet. So this is you should. <laughs> definitely need to. But that's it. Racing shoes are optional. Awesome. Yeah. So that what we do is a chip draw because we want to keep things fair what the chip draw does is uh, of course there's a, a certain number of carts out there each one of those carts have a number uh, you pick a cart keeps things random um, and then uh, what do we actually get out for qualifying it's the person that puts down the fastest time uh, that'll determine where you start in the race uh, the way the racing works here is uh, we do a formation lap first uh, after the formation lap uh, we have to actually stay as close uh, to each other as possible uh, once we come around, if we're nice and tightly bunched, then you'll see the green flag uh, wave. We cannot pass. Uh, 
we cannot pass in this racing league uh, until after the second corner. So I'm sure you'll see it when I get some footage here uh, that I don't pass right away. Um, so I try to, to, to pass or the, hopefully I get a pole position. Somebody's not going to try to pass me right away. If they do, disqualified right away, even if they finish the race with us. Um, sometimes these people don't see the black flag and stay out on the track and it can be a problem, especially if they're driving recklessly, but we hope that we don't see that. I hope that uh, I beat this guy, but he's damn fast. <laughs> you know how those Brazilians do. Right. We need to be on the podium together, yeah. so we'll figure it out. It's getting darker, it's getting colder, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just finished qualifying. I'm very, very happy with my time. I did a 39.64, I believe. We'll find out if I finish in pole. They don't tell us uh, when everybody ran right away. We're hoping to end up on the podium. And uh, obviously, we we're looking for the top spot. Uh, but of course, you never know what happens. It's really cold now. And uh, it's getting dark. So even the lights are out. So. Um, yeah, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can put down a time that was good enough for, for qualifying. I think that the uh, the race is going to be really exciting too. Apparently I have a good card. I don't know if I do or not. I, I never, ever, ever remember <laughs> the card number. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for the race. <laughs> as soon as you come into any corner, you feel like you're in D1 GP, like you're drifting completely. You know? Mike, by the way. Ayrton Senna, as, as he's also known, <laughs> won his first race, so yeah. congrats to Mike. I definitely want to say that. So, we are top five now. Yeah, we're, we're, we're up there now. in the league, and uh, we're hoping that we can win this whole thing, but we're taking it, everything, one step at a time. Yeah. And then we're going to try to get Mike to get into time attack as well after this season it's all done. Like, there's a lot of karting leagues out here, so it's not just uh, CRKC, if you don't live in this area, like... I have to drive an hour. He has to drive an hour and a half to get here. So there are uh, tracks uh, nearer and closer to you if you want to get into this that you can look into. Look at this dude. I don't know if you can see it, but that's a Nicky Lauda suit. Like replica. Pretty cool. Let's go check out this car, by the way. A lot of the guys that uh, race here obviously are uh, uh, car guys too. So it's, it's, I saw this car as soon as I pulled in and it's pretty cool. This is a Chevy Apache. It, it looks like Tom, uh, Tom Mater from uh, Cars. It even has a Corvette LS1 inside. So look at this thing, absolutely gorgeous. The raised bed. Definitely check out his uh, Instagram. If I can get him to come back to this car, I'll show you a little bit more about it, but this thing is gorgeous. So yeah, you do get to see a lot of cool cars. I've seen some lowriders, I've seen some STKs and so on, but kind of cool thing about the karting community. Wow, that was a crazy, crazy race, bro. I kept feeling this eerie aura behind me while somebody's just there. But it was super fun. Thank God I won. Whew. But yeah, really happy with that race. Instead of playing around a little bit too much at the end. But it's uh, really a, re a relieving uh, feeling to make it all pay off at the end. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Definitely, definitely subscribe if you like this uh, kind of stuff here. I do a lot of it, whether it's indoor, outdoor, simulator, or with the car. So hit the subscribe button um, and the bell for notifications. I barely do it myself, but if you like me, do it. Help me out. All right, see you next time.